This is my special made hot sauce, okay? So it's a little sweet, tangy, but it's also hot. You guys be nice. I may give you the recipe to this, but I don't really tell people about this. This is my special sauce, all right? This is the grub sauce right here. So, you guys ready? Let's go. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am doing uh, fried chicken, mukbang, and ASMR. Um, I got my biscuits, I got my fried chicken, got me a little fries on the side, and this is my special made hot sauce, okay? So it's a little sweet, tangy, but it's also hot. You guys be nice. I may give you the recipe to this, but I don't really tell people about this. This is my special sauce, all right? This is the grub sauce right here. So, you guys ready? Let's go. All right, so. All right, so, like I said, I got my fried chicken here, man. I got my fries. Got my special sauce. So, definitely gonna dig into that. But, we also gonna go over a few things as well. Uh, a lot of people don't really, uh, you know, know anything about me besides, you know, seeing me eat. So, I always like to open the floor to give people an opportunity to, to know who they're dealing with. So, um, I actually always enjoyed, you know, uh, eating different foods, trying different foods. You know, whatever is something new, I was always drawn to it. You know what I mean? So, I've always had different ideas of trying to help people as well. So, bang it. So it helps to have an opportunity to do it right now. Basically, combining the two things I love, you know, uh, helping people and eating to make something work, man. I'm definitely excited about it. So, that's actually what got me interested in this. Um, you know, when I was younger, I was really heavy set as a kid. I was short as well, guys. So I'm not short now. I had my growth, my growth spurt. You know, thank God for that. But I was really short. So I mean, I'm talking sixth, seventh grade. I wasn't even four feet yet. So I got picked on. Um, but you know, I made the best of it. I didn't take it as bullying or anything like that. Um, you know, I turned you know, the inward emotion outward and turned it into jokes. You know, if you hear a lot of stories about comedians, they always say how, you know, the, the comedy started from somewhere. And it's the truth. I think everything in life starts from somewhere. You know what I mean? So, for me, it, uh, it started when I was in third grade. You know, I had a best friend at the time who you know, I thought we were cool. He was he was popular or whatever. So it kind of made me feel better. Because I'm like, people, you know, hung with me because of that. Um, but come to find out, he was going through the same situation I was. So by that, I mean, uh, when it came down to him having issues, he, he hang with more popular kids in older grades. He would turn against me for them, you know? So, you know, I tried to understand it at first, you know, but it bothered me because I'm like, yo, you know, this is my boy, right? So, I just, you know, spoke to him about it before and told him how, you know, it was kind of awkward, you know what I mean? Like, we couldn't be cool when he was with, you know, the, the older dudes. 
So, you know, uh, he was like, nah, you know, we cool, man. It ain't like that, whatever. So it got to the point one day um, where he was getting on the bus. So we get on the bus, you know, all the cool kids. Most people know all the cool kids go, they go sit in uh, the last seat of the bus. But this day, it was already, so our seats was already taken. You know, by some of those guys who he was cool with. You know, I didn't think nothing of it at first. But uh, like I said, we was cool. But then it got to the point where you know, I headed to the back. You know, the older dude's like, where you going? And I'm like, to my seat. Nah, man, you sit in seat one. And they was like, yo, tell him he sit in seat one, talking to my, my best friend. So I was at him like, what they talking about? He's like, yeah, man. You know, all the square dudes sit up front. You know, this back here, we, there ain't no square dudes allowed back here. So I'm looking at him like, what What you talking about? I thought we was just, you know, so I, I took offense to it, but it bothered me too, you know? And, um, kind of put me in a mindset where I shielded myself from people from that point forward because I felt like people didn't have um, a genuine uh, care for other people. I felt like people only did things because they wanted something out of it. You know what I mean? And uh, it made it hard for me to like really trust people. A lot of people don't think that kids pay attention to stuff or that kids know what's going on. We know. So, you know, I was lucky enough to have, you know, a strong support system at home for my family. So, I never missed out on, you know, the friendships. I never really needed many friends because I always had family. So, I was good. You know, but... That's what kind of led me to where I am now. Because I feel like a lot of people don't have those extra support systems to help them get through times. And like I told y'all before, I always feel like there's no conversation that can't turn positive with food. You know what I mean? Food is the barrier, man. No matter what the conversation is, food is definitely uh, a wall breaker. You know what I mean? I really want to tell y'all about my sauce, but I'm not going to do that. Not yet. But anyway, you know, I've grown to love what I do. You know, I definitely like helping people, you know, regardless. And a lot of people think That in order to help people, you got to have a ton of money. That's not true. You know, you just have to have the heart and the willingness to push forward and to do it regardless of the situation. Most people who do know me they know it's very rare that I would say no when it comes to like lending a hand for anything. Cause that's just who I am. You know what I mean? And I and I appreciate having those friends who got those family members uh, who won't take advantage of that. Cause a lot of people will. So I'm very grateful for that. There we are. But I want y'all to understand that
it takes a lot to uh, to to find out what your calling is, what your purpose is, things like that. So if you see you are dealing with somebody and you feel like they're not growing as fast as you want them to, be patient. Good things definitely come to those who wait, all right? And everybody develops at their own pace. So if you're really saying you support somebody, you really want to help them grow, be patient. That's the best thing you can do for them. Understanding that definitely will get you in a better place. It'll help you understand people easier. Well, believe it or not, a lot of people aren't willing to express themselves openly to a lot of people. So, in order to break that barrier, you have to be willing to sacrifice what's important to you at times and put others first, you know. Without a doubt. So, I'm definitely going to be I'm definitely going to be having more moments where You know, I discuss things with you guys as far as, um, you know, what's going on right now in the world. You know, things, questions I may have, or that you may have. And enjoy good food in the process. And then, maybe, I'll let y'all know what's in my sauce, okay? But I do appreciate you guys, and I say it a lot for a reason because it's true. So, regardless of what you may be going through. You know, know that there are people who actually do value your opinion. Who do res who, who who definitely respect your support. And who's willing to support you back. While, of course, eating good food. <laughs> Don't go wrong with that. You know? So, if I don't say it enough... Saying it. I appreciate you guys. All my grub lovers. I appreciate you. Until next time, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below on what you want us to do next, man. You know, you want to what you want to talk about, what you want to eat. I'm all ears, man. It's your boy. Mr. Brown, I'm out.